uh, the cases will, uh, you know, praise God, go down. And then, uh, this uh, seven days quarantine would not be changed uh, to 14 days, but it will go lower, like five days or three days, so that our uh, OFWs, praise God, can uh, go home so that their employer will allow them. Praise the Lord. Everybody shall amen. 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 So, you have no choice every Sunday. Praise God. I am uh, the preacher until uh, August. But uh, Pastor Rodonel will be preaching to us this coming 24. Praise God. July 24. Bring your friends. If you have no friends, you can bring your enemies. Praise God. So, let us uh, invite. Uh, many souls, praise God. And if you can go out also on July 23, that is Saturday, Pastor Rodonio will still be our preacher. Praise God. Hallelujah. I think uh, I will announce this later, praise God, rather than announce this uh, on live TV. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> so at this time, we are going to... Uh, Pray for the comfort for Campo's uh, family, for the passing away of Brother Richard Campo, brother-in-law of Sister Marie Python. Praise God. And uh, there's no more prayer request here. Praise God. Just remind me later, praise God, during the altar of service, we will uh, join this in prayer. Praise God. And uh, do not forget also to pray for Sister Nita Dulay, Sister uh, Dal Bukorja. They are suffering for uh, breast cancer. Praise God. So include them in your prayers. And we have some sisters. Praise God. Our OFWs, uh, advancing years, like they are already in their senior citizen. Uh, praise God bracket, but still they are working for their family. Hindi pa kauwi-uwi dahil paaralin pa si Apu. And uh, let's pray for them that the Lord will... Uh, Give them strength. Amen. Everybody shall praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. Praise God. So without any further delay, praise God, hallelujah, shall we open our Bible uh, in the book of Luke, in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 10, verse 1, and verse 17 to 20. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 10 verse 1 and then let's jump to 17 to 20. The word of the Lord in uh, the Gospel of St. Luke says, After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. So every time Jesus would come to a certain city, there is always an advance party two by two. And all of them are 70. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So Satan fall like a lightning from heaven. Now, if you can just look at the speed of the lightning, that's the speed of Satan's fall from heaven down to earth. Behold, Jesus said, I give you power. Everybody shout, I have power. I have power. To tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing everybody shall nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you okay. verse 20 now it's standing in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven what, trans what translation translated that verse like this? However, don't 
rejoice that the spirits submit to you. So don't rejoice if Satan, demons, praise God, and any demonic forces bow down to you. Jesus said, don't rejoice about that. Don't brag about it. But rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. I will give to you a simple subject this afternoon entitled, Leave the Results to God. Everybody say, leave the results to God. If you have some doubts and fear right now, if you are so overthinking, overthinking and overthinking about your future, just leave the results to God. Everybody say, amen. amen. Let's bow down our head and let us all pray and ask the Lord to bless this message. It will minister to every heart, even to our guests and visitors, that they will go home in peace and in joy. Praise God. That in this place, when they're standing, praise God, for the first time, hallelujah, they could feel the awesome presence of God, the love from heaven that will embrace, hallelujah, their spirit. Holy One of Israel, we honor you. Hallelujah. This afternoon, Lord, we lift up your name. There is none like you. I declare God, hallelujah, in this place that there is no other name, hallelujah, under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that name is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. While I speak your word, O oh God, hallelujah, I pray that there is healing in our means. Hallelujah. Let your spirit will touch every heart and let every word, O oh God, hallelujah, is understandable, O oh God, hallelujah, that everyone can digest it naturally. Hallelujah. And with the help of your spirit, that we can apply those principles, O oh Lord, when we go home and when we continue the works in our contract to our employer. Hallelujah. Your word will become our hope, our strength, and our joy. This afternoon, O oh Lord, cover this place with your awesome presence. Hallelujah. With your Holy Spirit, O oh God. And we rebuke every evil spirit, every foul spirit that will try to destroy, that will try to hinder, that will try to distort, O oh God. Hallelujah. Praise God your word. Hallelujah. I release the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Let thy will be done. And let thy purpose be established this afternoon in this church. And bless the online viewers, oh God, hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody shout amen. amen. If you believe that the Lord loves you, clap your hands to Him. And with a shout of hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah is the highest praise. You can say hallelujah. are being, you know, people under, praise God, uh, funds will, you know, give their best shout, their waves of hands. Hallelujah. If those actors and actresses are on stage, hallelujah, they, if they are one of those fans, hallelujah, or top fan of his God, hallelujah, they will shout with the top of their lungs. Praise God. In basketball, praise God, they will shout, Michael Jordan, Praise God. Hallelujah. And in this house, there's no other name that we're going to shout. It's the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can we shout that name? Jesus. Can we shout it again? Jesus. Jesus. And the sound of that name in the spirit world that we cannot see, there's an impact, there's a power. Hallelujah. I feel it. Spirit, that when we speak the name of Jesus, disease and sickness, we bow down at the sound of the name of Jesus. If you are suffering from depression, if you are suffering from pain, if you are suffering from you know, fear, praise God, you are suffering from confusion, you are thinking, praise God, what will happen to my family in the Philippines? Praise God, they are lacking of this and that. Praise God, inflation is so high. Praise God, bus fare is so high in the Philippines. 
I don't know how about the, the kilo price if it goes down. I don't know. Praise God. But whatever happens in this world, yes. praise God, hallelujah, as long as the presence of Jesus is in our heart, He will give us the confidence. He will give us the faith. Hallelujah. Yes. We will, have, we will go through trials. We will go through some hardship. Hallelujah. If you have a good employer, praise Him. If you have a nice employer, praise Him. But if you have also a terror employer, praise Him. If you have to report employer, praise Him. Everybody say amen. Turn to your neighbor, tell him, tell her, leave the results to God. You will not make your sins. Just this week, I was able to minister for the weekdays uh, group from Wednesday. To our guests and visitors, I will announce to you that if you can go out like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, every 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we have divine services here at New Life Fellowship. Everybody shout amen. amen. Just in case, if you can go out, uh, if you will just get your holidays before that your employer did not give you, and if you happen, praise God, that your employer will allow you to go out, and you have no place to stay, it's better to join in the service. Amen. Everybody shout amen. amen. So I was able to, you know, share the word of the Lord about the mystery of weakness. Because... The Bible tells us in Matthew 26 verse 41 that all of us, as long as we are living in this flesh, our flesh is very weak. Yes. Jesus said in Matthew 26 41, stay awake and pray so that you will enter into temptation. The spirit is willing but here's the problem. The flesh is weak. Lahat ng my flesh, masabi ng amen. Because I believe that all of us here are still in this flesh. You are not robots. Praise God. You are not made of iron and even other metals. Praise God. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Mark also, praise God, record this uh, Wordings of Jesus, watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The Spirit truly is ready. Everybody shout, the Spirit truly is ready. The Spirit truly is ready. And here we go. But the flesh is weak. Hallelujah. Praise God. Everybody shout, Amen. Amen. May nakaon sa live mga kapatid. Hallelujah. So to make the long story short, we as humans, this flesh is our enemy. Yes. Because our spirit wants to, you know, come to the church, to read the Bible, to pray. But our flesh will hinder the desire of our spirit. I want to pray, I want to pray. But you just realize you already snore in sleeping. You're already snoring. But your spirit wants to, you know, I want to read my Bible, I want to pray, I want to do this homework because I'm late already. But our flesh is weak. And uh, there's no other group that can relate this, Sister Daisy. Much of this can re be related to our domestic helpers, OFWs. Yes. We are very tired. Amen. Yeah. So I understand, praise God, if you are tired. But if you sleep while I'm speaking, I'm going to wake you up. Everybody shout, praise the, praise the Lord. Yes. This mystery of weakness is already been solved in the New Testament. So do not be dismayed if you have found weaknesses in your life. Because in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27, I will just be slow and I will, 
you know, speak uh, properly, praise God. Uh, because these are just introductory part of my sermon. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God had chosen what? The weak, the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Paul was telling us in this context that not many of us who are being called to God to serve are professionals like attorneys. Is there an attorney here? Is there an, uh, a lawyer here? See? Is there a lawyer here? Oh, you are a lawyer in the kitchen. Is there a doctor here? A doctor? Is there a pilot here? I'm not, think, I'm not talking about coconut, coconut pilot. A real pilot. No? Praise God. Is there an accountant here? Accountant. Accountant. No one. Praise God. Is there a politician here before? Before you become an OFW, you are a politician like Barangay Kakawat, Municipal Councilor. Or are you a Purok leader? That's what Paul is talking about in this chapter. That when God calls us, not many are nobles, not many are, you know, royal, royalty. May anak ba dito na royalty? A royal blood? Hallelujah! Is there a bloodline hero like a sultan, sultani? Praise God. No one. Pero, Sister Santa, are you? What? Praise God. <laughs> See? Of all this group of people, Brother David, there's no politician, there's no doctor, there's no pilot, there's no, there's no a lawyer, an accountant. Praise God. There's none. But if I'm going to ask you this afternoon, who are the children of the living God here? So the provisions in this world, hallelujah, are not a guarantee or basis, hallelujah, that you can be a child of God because to be a child of God, you must believe, hallelujah, of the gospel that Jesus Christ died for you, He rose again, and He will come again, praise God, to take the church. If you will repent of your sins, God baptized in the water in the name of Jesus and being filled with the Holy Spirit, with the trumpet will sound, the Lord will bring us up to the place where He prepared for us. Amen. It's written in the Bible. Amen. But He chose the weak things in this world to confound the mighty. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank God that He chose that. And... Uh, why we should leave the results to God? Because sometimes, when you look at yourself today, I have no money, praise God. My influence is limited. My resources are limited. My strength is limited. Do not worry, my friend. Praise God, hallelujah. Because even your strength is limited, even your resources are limited, even your treasures in this world are limited, as long as you are faithful to the Lord, as long as you will not deny the name of the Lord, Jesus will give us an open door. <laughs> Revelations chapter 3 verse 8, Sister Training at the bottom part, praise God, hallelujah. This is what Sister uh, uh, Claire yesterday shared for the Saturday group. I know your works, God said, to the church of Philadelphia. You, you cannot have a secret before God. Yes. Because the eyes of the Lord is 24 hours looking at us. Amen. We cannot hide. Everybody shout amen. amen. He told the Philadelphian church, I know your works. Okay, can, can we change it to new life? New life, God said, I know your works. Praise God. 
Because you have limited strength. Everybody shout, you have limited strength. We have limited strength. In context, Brother James, God is sending a letter to the church of Philadelphia. Yes. Praise God that you have limited strength. Yes. Have keep my word in other words, but even though you were small, even though your strength is little, but you keep my word. In other words, you obey my words, you are faithful to me, and have not denied my name. Look, I have placed before you what? An open door that no one is able to close. Do not worry. Because if God is for us, then who can be against us? There is an open door that God, hallelujah, will give us. It could be an opportunity. It could be a blessing. Or it could be unlimited things beyond that door. All we need to do, hallelujah, even though our strength, hallelujah, is limited, is that we must live faithful, hallelujah, believing, praise God. And we will not deny the name. Everybody shout, I will not deny the name. I will not Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Pastor Plaza, I believe that I am weak. Congratulations. You are exactly what the Lord is looking for. Everybody shout amen. amen. In Psalms chapter 29, praise God, verse 11. The Lord will give strength. Hallelujah. 29, 11, sister training, Psalms 29 verse 11. It's there already. Okay. Uh, after 1 Corinthians uh, 1 27. So, do not worry if your strength is just little. Do not worry, praise God, if you're limited, praise God, in resources. Because the Lord has promised He will give strength. Can you read it with me? The Lord. The Lord. Underline that in your Bible. Okay? Because when problems will come to our lives, when trials, praise God, when resources are scarce to find, hallelujah, and if you have troubles and burdens that when you look around, there is no way to exist. There is no way out of your trouble. Praise God. And you are so weak to fight. I will tell you church, the Lord will give strength unto His people. Pakiop sa lahat ng right. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord will give strength unto His people. The secret is be one of His people. Amen. So how about those people who are not belong to the house of God, the Lord will not give them strength. They rely on their natural strength. Yes. They rely on their talent. Yes. They rely on their skills. Yes. Everybody shout, praise, praise the Lord. But to the people of God, when you become a part of the people of God, hallelujah, the Lord will give a supernatural strength. Yes. Now the question for our guests and visitors is this. How can I be, praise God, a part of the people of God? Praise God. It is not by religion. It is not by groups. Praise God. But it is by repentance of your sins. Amen. And you need to receive the name of the Lord Jesus Christ yes. in water baptism. And you need to receive also the spirit from our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Everybody shout amen. amen. As I look around right now, I can say that most of you are tired. Some of are just closing their eyes. And I don't know if they're meditating the word they're hearing. I understand why. The flesh is weak. Amen. Everybody shout amen. amen. Our body needs rest. Especially if your work is too difficult. If your work, praise God. Uh, just give me my ego back. Praise the Lord. 
The Lord will give strength to His people. The Lord will bless His people with peace. Do you know that weak people need peace? When you feel, when you will struggle, when you are struggling, praise God, and you are looking for peace of mind. Pastor Blasa, I'm so weak. I cannot count. Why? So weak. <laughs> My octopus is so weak. <laughs> My faith is so weak. Uh -huh. I have no peace, Pastor Blasa. Why? I heard my employer to pack up my things. They're talking. Praise God. Because the employer heard that New Life Fellowship is welcoming so many strike bugs. No, you're wrong. We're going to tell, praise God, our sisters. Hallelujah. If you are already in the house of your employer to think, to please bring, pick up your things. Hallelujah in the church. <laughs> Nanghina talaga ako, Pastor, nung nalinig ko yan, ay pakuha ng strike bones. <laughs> the Lord will give you peace. <laughs> Everybody well, shall praise the Lord. Now, we should leave everything into the hands of God. The Bible always gives us the right principle that what you sow is what you reap. If you sow goodness, then you will reap also goodness. If you will sow, praise God, kindness, you will reap kindness. If you sow mingo, you will reap mingo. Everybody shout amen. Amen. So, how did you sow? Praise God. Hallelujah in your life. But in the spirit, praise God, hallelujah, we will sow dedication, hallelujah, and honesty. And the Lord will bless us. The Lord will guide us. Everybody shall amen. amen. Can we read it once again? Praise God, before I'm going, to, I'm going to go to another verse. The Lord will give strength unto His people. The Lord will bless His people. If you believe that in your heart right now, that He will be the one to bless you with peace, and He will be the one to give you the strength, leave everything into the hands of God. Hallelujah. And when David, praise God, declared His words in chapter 30, verse 1 and 2, this is what he said, hallelujah, in Psalms. I will extol thee, O Lord. When David realized that the one who will give him strength is the Lord. When David realized that the one who promised of peace is the Lord, he said, hallelujah, I will come to your tabernacle. I will come to the congregation. And I don't worry about, hallelujah, my tomorrow. When I stay there, I will extol thy name, O Lord. For thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my food to rejoice over me. Pastor, there are so many, praise God, you know, contrabidas in my life. I don't know what's the English of contrabidas, Sister Selby. Yeah? The villain, praise God, in my life. But thank God, the Lord did not allow those contrabidas to rejoice over me. I have a lot of kumaris are praying that I will be terminated. But thank God, my employer increased my salary. Everybody say amen. So only few here got the salary increase. How about the others? Praise God. Minimum. Praise God. So next year, no more minimum. I want to hear that your salary is above minimum. Oh, I like that, Pastor Plaza. But I'm going to encourage you. Work hard. Don't say 
sibat sibat to worldwide. Work hard. Be faithful on your job. Praise God. And when your employer will review the CCTV, so oh, praise God. It is very good. Praise God. And you will just notice that there is a card in your room. And when you open the card, wow. Even though it was not a red bucket, but it's a white bucket. <laughs> Praise God. And the color was orange. <laughs> I'm not telling you that was money, only orange ribbon. <laughs> Advance ka sa kayo mag-isip mga ano Everybody shout praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! David, when he just realized that the Lord is the one who will give him strength, and when he just promised that, oh, I'm the one that will give you peace, he said, I will extol thee, O Lord. In other words, when I come to the church, I will praise you. That's right! Because you have lifted me up. In other words, you are the one who holds Have you received some encouragement from your friend? Yes. Have you received some encouragement from your boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> Have you received some encouragement from your husband? Yes. <laughs> How about this, Brother Marvin? Have you received some encouragement? From your admirers? Huh? Why is plural, Pastor? Praise God. Everybody shall be there. David said, Thou hast lifted me up. Yes. You are the one who encouraged me, Lord. When I heard that you are the one who will give me strength. Yes. Oh, I am weak to fighting. This was King David. Fighting from every kingdom surrounding. Praise God. Hallelujah. The kingdom of Israel. David is in the front line. Fighting these armies. And God told him, don't worry, I will be with you. Leave it to me. Leave the result to your God, David. Oh, Pastor Plaza, I don't know what will happen in this contract. I don't know what will happen, Pastor Plaza. But since I heard that word, I will leave to God the results. I'm praying for house and lot. I'm praying that my kids can finish my talk and their college and studies. I'm praying the Hallel Pastor Plaza that in my third contract, that's it, for good, go home. Yeah. I leave the result to God. Yeah. Everybody shall amen. Yeah. Verse 2. This is what David said. Hallelujah in Psalms 30, verse 2. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast. Can you read it again? O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. David realized of all the pains, hallelujah, hurts in spirit or in physical. David just realized, O Lord my God, I cry unto you. Thank you, Lord. You healed me. Put your hands to the Lord one more time, hallelujah. You know, we delight in success. We are happy when we success, when we succeed. If we can hear our children, they have just lots of graduation. If you can just look at the post of your be friends, graduations there, graduations there, diploma there, diploma here. It's graduation time in the Philippines. And uh, some of you are thankful to God that they graduated without you in their sight. Yes. There are lots of mothers here. Yes. Their children are graduating in key to a program. Praise God. And they're not there. Yes. They promise to their children, Oh, during your graduation, I will go home. No matter what, no COVID can stop me. <laughs> here we go. You're stuck here. And then you just, you know, praise God, give sweet words and message to your children. Oh, sorry, mama, cannot go home. 
There's no available quarantine hotel if I go home to come back. My employer will not allow me. I will just send you some money. Praise God. And you just receive those happy, you know, pictures, faces. Praise God. Graduations. And then there's uh, arrow. Graduation stage. Jollibee. <laughs> Praise God. But for the children of God, it's different. Yes. Because for the whole week, we are working in the house of our employers. Praise God, so tiresome. Some of you, praise God, are, you know, walking outside for dogs and cats or whatever animals you are. Praise God. <laughs> or maybe elephants and giraffes. May mga alaga ba kayong leon na... Lion de ba? Mas tumplasa na yung kloyo ni sa lion. Everybody shout, praise, praise the Lord. So when you arrive in the house of the Lord, all you need to do, Lord, thank God I survived for another week. I survived for the last six days. And you are in the house of the Lord. And the cycle will just repeat. Because after we dismiss, it's a word there waiting for you another six days. Yes. Monday, you are not thinking what food you are going to prepare. You are not thinking of preparing the school uniforms of your, you know, wards. Praise God. Tuesday, all the schedules are there. Perfect. <laughs> but when Sunday comes, sometimes it's sad. Uh, you have no schedule. <laughs> the employer will just put all your jobs in the bridge. D1, D2, D3. All the details, where you're going to go. And they will give you budget. But during Sunday, praise God, put also your schedule in the bridge. <laughs> so that your mom can see what you're doing on Sunday. Put your schedule also on the bridge. Six o'clock, mom. Demotion.